morning. So for various reasons, it's two weeks since I last played and I've not touched a club in two weeks. I was in London for a week working and then I picked a virus up while I was down there and that's just absolutely banjacks me for the last week. And I've still got it to be honest. So expectations are very low today. Uh, my worries are obviously having not played for two weeks, whether what my game's gonna be like. Also, the course I'm guessing is gonna have changed quite a lot because we've had a bit more drier weather. Uh, but probably the thing I'm most worried about is my energy levels. I've still got this virus, I've not shook it off yet and I am feeling a little bit weak. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. But at the end of the day, I just thought, sod it. Let's come and have a, have a go. It's not the end of the world. So let's see how we go on. Right, have a good game, guys. It's okay, a little bit high. So, like I say, my biggest worry today is actually my energy levels. So, I've actually brought out five energy gels. That's enough to run a marathon normally. I'm going to take one every three holes just to try and keep my energy pot, you know, sort of uh, stocked up. But uh, we'll see how we go. Hit that okay, it's in play. Wasn't one of my best. It's going to be a lot further back than what I normally am, but I think it's on the fairway. Flight. Okay, two missed time shots to start, but it's crawled up onto the front of the green, so not a disaster. So the greens do look a lot better in the two weeks I've not been here. So, not 100% sure how hard to hit this, but. Yeah, how'd you like it, Michael? Okay. Only just, but it went in. Tradesman's entrance. Thank you. Four. It's a sucker pin there as well, so I'm going to kind of ignore that. It's a bit braver than I was planning, but I'll take it. Thank you. 
Not. Yeah. Wasn't exactly out the middle, but it's gone straight. Get up. So again, not a great strike, but it's gone dead straight. I'm like, you know what, today, the way I'm feeling, I'm really not bothered. As long as the ball keeps going forwards and straight, I'll take it. I'll come down, John, take your time. Bloody hell. They're a bit quicker than last time I played. A familiar story, unfortunately. Thank you. Yeah, it should be short of the bunker. So I've got 155 to the flag, but it's in a grassy wet lie, which I think is going to fly. So I'm going to go down a club. I'll need to hit this though. Yeah, I was counting on a flyer there to get it to the green. It was wet, wet and grassy. Okay, that seemed to work out. Another shot out of the way. So there's always the saying of, beware of the injured golfer. And you know, I think that's because, you know, when you are feeling bad or you, you know, feel like your body's holding you back, whatever it might be. You're really just trying to get through each shot and you don't really think about anything else. So from that point of view, golf psychology wise, can actually be a positive in a strange way. I mean, I am just doing nothing more than just trying to basically just bunt the ball forwards each time. I'm trying to do nothing more than that. Struggling with the pace again. Well yeah, you take a four there, don't you? Absolutely. That should be perfect. If I absolutely nail this, I might get it somewhere near to the green. There's no run though, that's the problem. It's okay, we'll find it, won't we? Yeah, it's fine, we'll find it. It was worth a crack. I'll get the bell. It was worth a crack at it. 
I mean, I just hit a bit of a toey phase, which was obviously not what was required, but it's uh, it's in the rough on the right hand side, but we'll find it and we'll pitch it on the green and hopefully have a birdie putt. I don't think it got near the path. Yeah, it's kind of here. Oh, there you go, it's there, look. Yeah. 60 yards. So it really is just trying to judge how it's going to come out of this lie. Because I can't be short. That's the miss I can't make. Should be good. Oh no, it's long. Shine on. That came out a lot better than I was expecting it to. Nice put. Oh! God! It's been like the theme of my season so far. It was, yeah, it was a good putt. So, I forgot to start the camera for the tee shot. But, you didn't miss anything too exciting, because I was just bunting it down with a 5 iron. Which is to lay up inside the in front of the bunker, and the quarry here on the right hand side. Which I've just about done. So, course management achieved. See if we can give ourselves a birdie opportunity. Ninety-seven yards. That's a good yardage for my fifty-six. And for the first time on this newly designed hole, we don't have to hit it off a mat. There's a bit of wind into, so I need to hit this well. which I've not. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Day like today, where I've not played any golf recently at all, and I'm not feeling particularly well, you've just got to accept that you're going to hit bad shots. You know, not get down about it, just get on with it, do the best we can. Thank you. It does, it does indeed, yeah. I'll finish it. Yeah, yeah, do you want it out? Yeah, it just needs to get the slope. That should be good. Okay, so one over through six. It's been a bit of a battle, but you know, we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. I've just had my second energy gel of the round, which I can feel is kicking in already. So feeling a little bit better from that point of view. So, We'll just keep grinding, guys and girls. We'll just keep grinding. I've got 197, but I've copped another pretty crappy lie, to be fair. So I'm going to have to figure that this is going to jump. So I'm going to take less club and thinking if it jumps, it should be good. If it doesn't jump, it should get somewhere around the front of the green. I can't go big, so I can't take a chance on going big. Run! 
if it runs. Brilliant. Ten out of ten, Craig, for course management. Exactly what I thought it would do. It came out flat like a moon ball, like a knuckle ball. Pitched short of the green and ran up, so. Eagle putt. Oh. Tapping birdie, yeah, but you've got to give eagles a go. Okay, guys, so sorry, I forgot to start the camera again. I think it's just because I'm not concentrating properly. Because I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just not all compass mentos today. But anyway, just hit a fairly solid seven iron, just lost it a little bit on the breeze and I've short sided myself in the bunk on the right hand side which is the one place I couldn't go but I'm going to be totally honest with you my golf swing and golf game today is not in good enough place to really try and execute really good course management because I'm not 100% sure where my golf ball's going I am literally just trying to hit it forwards and then find it and then just go and hit it again so I'm just hoping it hasn't plugged and see if we can give ourselves a chance of an up and down. It's not going to be easy. Well, there's absolutely no shot here. <coughs> Ball is just half plugged. Or just sort of settled in its indentation. I've got no green to play with. So, just got to be sensible here. That's pretty damn good, to be fair. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I'll take that, Michael, for sure. I just felt sure that was going to go left to right. Well done, Michael. So as disappointing as that bogey was, what a setting for a golf hole this is. Gorgeous, isn't, it? isn't it? It is one of the most picturesque par threes you could ever wish to play. It is. Needs a good bounce down. Okay, see ya. I've got it. Yeah, bit of a monkey lie, but just happy to find it. Actually, sitting really ropey. This, I'm, I'm literally just going to bunt it forward with a wedge. Just mission accomplished. So I've actually got a perfect yardage from my 58 here. So if we just hit this well. Yeah, that shouldn't be too far away. If that's pin eye, it should be about 10 foot away. Didn't see it going left to right, I've got to say. Yeah, 
Okay, so one over for the front nine. It's not terrible. Can't say that I'm disappointed in it. Just, I'm just grinding. I'm just trying to do the best I can today. So, onto the back nine. Could do with a par on this tenth because it's a hard hole and just get me off on the back nine on a good foot. So I'll see you in part two.